this is it. It's the final day at West UK Mart. Last store in my childhood from Pittsburgh here to go. McIntyre's gone. Shaler's gone. This one closes up for good today. It'll be open for the rest of the week for fixture sales and some employees can finish cleaning up and then once that's done, it's gone. But today is the last day as Kmart. So let's go and say our goodbyes. Say goodbye to my childhood. And one of the last memories I got, you know, that I shared with my mom, dad, my grandparents, because we went there a lot growing up. So let's go and say goodbye. If you notice up here on the wall, you might notice there was a garage door here at one point. And they bricked it up, obviously, but still, that's cool. Okay, so James was just telling me that this room here in the garden center was actually a customer waiting area for when this was the auto center, the Penske auto center. Customers would wait in here. They would have a TV in here, vending machines. You could sit in here and wait while your car was being worked on in here. This is the old Penske auto center. And fun fact, that bathroom that I showed you in the last update video here that we found hidden behind the uh, gondolas, that was actually the restroom for the employees here and the washroom for the employees here, which I had a hunch, but I wasn't sure. But um, it was confirmed that that doorway right back there where that restroom is, that was for employees here at Penske before this became the garden center. And it was closed up in 2003 because the plumbing wasn't so good. And then they just put the uh, gondolas and the pegboards up behind it now we were in there already i know that but yep and as you can see again just so much stuff in here that they just haven't sold and they're just literally selling things for pennies on the dollar pennies on the dollar so last look around the garden center guys <laughs> you're fine this is this is it this is it, completely it now. And as you can see, everything is still in here. They just weren't able to sell everything. It's a shame.
<laughs> How old is that one? Probably that's older than me. Just like a shaler, I come out to these stores and I'm greeted with all of my friends here. As you can see, everybody here, as we all say goodbye to this place, it's just un unreal. <laughs> everybody comes out here, and it's it's you know it's bittersweet. I like being able to meet fans and friends, you know, of the channel and everybody out here. This is how I've made friends with everybody, especially my buddy James here. You know, stay awesome. He's the reason why we got the guided tour of the back rooms and everything in here. So thank you, buddy, and thank you all for coming out tonight. And uh, it's just it's bittersweet because this is the final day, and um, that's it for this place. That's awful. Yeah, I. Okay, so I have to admit, I was wrong. I thought that on the final day there would be the two cans of boiled peanuts left. There was one can when the store opened up and somebody bought that, but as the store nears the end here, we're less than 30 minutes from the store closing for good, and there's this one can left of sloppy Joe sauce. Sure, it looks like it's been beaten up a few times and like it's had seen better days, but I feel bad for this little guy. Somebody got to get this. I'm sure everybody likes sloppy Joes. Maybe not so much botulism, but sloppy joes, but...
didn't go in this one last time. Oh, wow, this is the handicap one. Excuse you. I love Kmart. left in West UK Mart's history. No. Had to rock the old school Kmart shirt because this was an old school Kmart around 81, 82. Actually, 80 is when this opened. And um, the lanyard I found at Erie Kmart. And we found a bunch of these in the back room, these I Love Kmart buttons. So naturally, I had to grab one. That was sweet. That was nice. That was that was You'll nice. Have that post, you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, this chapter here in West UPA is now officially over. The store is now closed for good at four o'clock Eastern Standard Time on March 17, 2019. This place shut down after being in operation for nearly 40 years. It's it's really sad to see what the store closures do. They tear families apart, you know, to Eddie Lampert and people in Chicago at the headquarters. It's just another store to them. It's just numbers on, pen, on, you know, on paper. But what they don't see is what they do. And I see this often with all the store closures I've covered. And it never gets easier. Each one gets harder and harder to do. But especially these ones here in Pittsburgh. You know, I did Shaler. That one hurt me really bad. And then this one here in Westview. You know, while I didn't know as many people here as I did a Shaler, I knew Pat and James. You know, they were they're really good friends of mine, and I really thank them a lot. And Sarah, the, uh, the manager for letting me go around, and Andrew for letting me go around and film the back of the store, film the whole store for you guys. And to all the employees that said they liked the videos that I had put out here, you know, and... That means a lot to me. To me, they're instantly, like, friends to me. You know, the fact that 
they appreciate what I've done to keep the memory of this place alive. Because um, they didn't have to do that, but they did, and I'm very thankful for it. But it, it breaks my heart more and more when I see, you know, these families get torn apart and come to an end like this. You know, it's not their fault. It's nobody here that has done anything wrong. It's that they have a corrupt uh, leader for the company who just doesn't care about anything except himself, which is a real shame. But it's over from here. You know, I, that's the final of the three. You know, I had Shaler, McIntyre Square in Ross Township, Westview. And when I lived out in the Robinson area, the Moon Township Kmart was where it was at. You know, it, it's been over a year now since that's gone. So, you know, but these are the ones that I grew up with. This one behind me, the Shaler one in McIntyre, which closed years before I started filming. Those three in particular were the ones that I came here in a shopping cart with my parents, my grandparents. We'd go around. I'd get school clothes here. I'd get little Caesars here. And um, just, I always enjoy it. I'd get Hot Wheels cars here. And then when I grew up and I was collecting Hot Wheels cars, I'd come out here for K-Day events, you know, and uh, get the exclusives and the treasure hunts if I could, you know. And there's none of that to have anymore. If I want to go to Kmart now in Pittsburgh... The closest Kmart to downtown Pittsburgh is now 45 minutes away. Embarrassing. We used to have about 10 Kmarts here just a couple of years ago and even more before that. But Eddie wanted to be greedy and get rid of them. Now, this was a go-ahead store. It wasn't meant to close during the bankruptcy thing. However, given all the stores were up for sale, U-Haul thought it was a great idea to come in here and buy. If U-Haul did not purchase this, this store would stay open for business as usual. So, but it is what it is. And all I can say is I really wish my friends in there the best of luck in their future endeavors. If you guys are watching this, thank you for allowing me in your store to film in here and keep the memory of this place alive for years to come. Thank you for everything. And best of luck again to my friends, Pat, and now Andrew, <laughs> James, and like I said, Sarah in there too, who was kind enough to let me film. I hope everything in your future goes well for you guys and that you guys can find another job soon and put this chapter behind but keep the memory of this place alive and well so anyway guys that's going to wrap it up here from west uk mart i hope you enjoyed the video if you did be sure to give it a like if you're not a subscriber subscribe to the channel for more content and just um man just take care everybody and Stay awesome. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.